Rogue One A Star Wars Story introduced us to Cassian Andor and his reprogrammed Imperial droid best friend, K2SO. Ever since then, we've all been wondering how the unlikely pair first met, and a brand new Star Wars comic has answered that question. There will be spoilers for it, so skip this video if you want to read it for yourself. The video will be waiting for you when you're ready. At some point between two and zero years before the events of Rogue One, Cassian was sent to the colony world of Wakako with two other spies named Kurtas and Rizmor. Their mission was to locate a decommissioned Imperial cruiser that supposedly contained Imperial security protocols that would be helpful to the Alliance. They successfully reached the ship, but triggered an alarm which brought Imperial forces to their location. They decided to abandon the mission and return to their ship with a little extra help. They overwhelmed and deactivated a KX series security droid, and Cassian went to work reprogramming him. The job took a couple tries before enough of the droid's memory was erased that it would obey commands. They used their new ally named K2SO to escort them back to their ship, but they fell under fire thanks to K2's inability to lie. Kurtas and Rizmor told Cassian that the droid contained the security protocols they needed, and they distracted the stormtroopers to allow for its escape. Cassian stole another ship, and they fled the system. And that's the story. If I'm being honest, it was a little more simple than I was expecting. I guess that's the occasional downside of filling in every little piece of backstory, is that sometimes the versions we create in our heads can oversell reality. The base idea is solid. I like that Cassian was required to use K2 to escape, and that the droid was going to be an asset to the Rebellion right off the bat but a lot of the details of the story come down to ineptitude. Cassian and the others set off an alarm, and it's unclear why or how that happened. Then the Empire surrounds them and can't find them. They subdue K2 because KX models have kill switches on their backs. I really don't like that idea, it seems too easy to deactivate Imperial security. And then Cassian reprograms K2 multiple times while they're supposed to be hiding or under attack and then the droid conveniently allows them to finish their botched mission anyway. I don't know, there was just something about this story that didn't sit right with me. I guess Cassian and K2's friendship is so strong in Rogue One that I expected something a little more heartfelt. Maybe some gratitude from K2 for being freed, so to speak, from Imperial programming. I think the more interesting story here would have been to get into K2 struggling with his new identity a little more. He seems to feel sorry for the other KX models in Rogue One, and exploring his thoughts and feelings would have been intriguing. I'll tell you what I did like, though, is whatever species Kurtas and Rizmor are. They communicate with each other through smells, and that made for a fun dynamic, as Cassian can smell their conversations, but can't understand them. But that's pretty much it. The story didn't grab my attention, but I'd love to hear what you guys thought. Did you like the story, or do you wish there was a little more to it? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.